Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. So if you've come online and you're looking to generate leads, you're looking to get your business rolling, and maybe you've tried a few things, it just hasn't really panned out for you. Maybe you've failed at trying to get leads, maybe you're trying to get traffic, and it's just not working out. Well, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you how to get free leads with paid traffic. We're gonna do it like a total boss. All right, so you come online, you wanna have that lifestyle, you wanna be able to do the fun things you want in life, that's what we do here on these videos, and that's what we do right here on my channel here. And the way we do that is we create a simple business online using affiliate marketing, using your own products, and we use paid traffic and we generate leads. Now if you're into a, if you already have a business going and you're looking to generate more leads, the best way you can do this is, well there's actually two ways you can do this, you can either go out and find free traffic and you send it to a lead capture page, or you can generate paid traffic and send it to a lead, lead capture page, okay? Now, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about kind of how to get paid traffic and how to get it for free almost. But before we do that though, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell option, that way you get notified of all the videos that I come out with to you on a daily basis. So you have a, you have a lead capture page, you wanna generate leads. You wanna get traffic to that lead capture page, you wanna get the right traffic to that lead capture page, and you wanna be able to take that, those leads get them onto your list and be able to follow up with those leads so you can generate uh, more revenue, you can generate your business, you can get things going. The way you do this is this, is, and, and a lot of times people think that they come online and they want to they want to have more traffic and they want to generate more traffic, they want to get paid traffic, they want to get free traffic. They do all these things to try to get traffic. But traffic is really not the problem, it's not the issue, okay? And I used to think this for a long time, I used to think this all the time, I used to think that you know, if I just had enough traffic or if I had more traffic, I would do a lot better. And it's and when I, once I realized that once I could get more traffic, I realized it's not the traffic is the problem. There's so much traffic out there. I mean, the, you got so many things out there to generate traffic. The real issue that people have is generating is taking that traffic and getting conversions on that traffic. So if you're if you're out there doing a ton of free traffic strategies where you're posting on Facebook, you're creating YouTube videos and you're trying to do that, you're trading your time. So it's not like it's free. You're trading your time to do that. But when you start to get into paid traffic and you start getting into Facebook ads or YouTube ads or you start buying solo ads, okay, you're paying your money for that, all right? So understand that when you pay your money, you get that traffic, you wanna be able to take that traffic and convert that on the back end. Now always, always, always when you're buying traffic, you always wanna have the mindset of just breaking even with your, mind, with your traffic. You never, never wanna to try to buy traffic and get sales to where you can make profits on those sales. You wanna be able to just break even to where if you put a dollar in and you get a lead and you get your dollar back, well now what you're doing is you're basically creating your list for free. And the way you do this is very simple, is you're going to buy traffic from places like Facebook and you're gonna set up a funnel and that funnel is going to be a stair step. It's gonna be a low ticket front end offer. It could be $7 offer and then on the one time offer, it could be you know $21 or $27 on the back end. And then you have this funnel that's set up. So when you do buy traffic and you get somebody to opt in and it redirects to the page that's a one time offer, and then you, somebody buys that, well then you're gonna recoup that uh, spend that you put into your ads. So if you, not everybody's gonna buy that, that one time offer, but if you only get a few to buy that offer, it's gonna offset the, the cost of your traffic. Now when you start to get one-time offers, you start to get money coming into those, all that money, all you do is you just take it and reinvest it back into your ad spend. You, you can go and you can buy more solo ads if you want. You can go buy more Facebook ads. You can buy YouTube ads. If you're making that spend back, so if you spend $100 on solo ads and then you get you know, only $100 back but you built a list, now you have that list and now you can offer more products to that list because the list on the back end is where all the money is gonna be made. That's where it separates kind of the, the people that wanna make money and the amateurs to the professionals that are actually doing this for a living. It's the back end, it's the follow up. Because if you build a list and you build that list for free, then when you mail that list, that is pure profit to you. It's all just pure profit. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Now you can set up your own funnel if you want. Um, you can set up your own product if you want. You could use uh, your own payment system. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do that. It's, it's a good way to do that. But what I recommend if you're getting first started is just use funnels that are already set up. You got JVZoo, there's Warrior Plus. These are gonna be two great places where you can find 
already offers that are built in. They already have a funnel built in, and a lot of times they're gonna pay you right into your PayPal account. So what I do is this, is I'll go and buy, let's say a solo ad for $100, and then I go to an opt-in form, somebody opts into the form, and then they get redirected to the uh, one-time offer. And this could be an affiliate link that I have set up through JVZoo. So it goes to that page, somebody sees that, and then they're either gonna buy it or they're not gonna buy it. If they buy the low ticket $7 front end offer, well now that adds, it, it puts money back into my PayPal account. So when I go buy a solo ad, I pay for it with like a PayPal uh, money, and then I buy that traffic, it goes to my opt-in form, and then it redirects to my uh, sales page, it could be the, the affiliate offer that I have set up. Somebody buys that and it goes right back into my PayPal account. Now if somebody buys at $7 and then they buy the $27 and maybe they buy the $150 package, all that money goes boom, right back into my PayPal account. So my, so my PayPal account starts to grow and I take that PayPal account, buy more ads. And, that, and those ads spend goes right back into it. And it's just a constant flow. It's just kind of a circular flow. But the whole time I'm building a list doing this as I'm doing this. You understand that? Do you get that? I hope you do because it's so important to do that because a lot of times I see so many people, they, they just, they buy ads and then they go right to a sales page and they're frustrated because they spent like $100 and they didn't get their $100 back. And they're like, well, I'm out $100 and it doesn't work. Well, the reason why it doesn't work is because you're, you're not building that list and that list on the back end is going to be pure profits to you. Now you can take that money that you make from your list that you follow up with and you can buy more ads. You can buy bigger ads. You can buy, you know, you can scale it up to, to big time YouTube ads or, or you know spend a ton more money on Facebook ads and it just starts to multiply. But it has to be a stair step effect to do that. And you know you can use ClickBank offers, but the problem with ClickBank offers is you don't get paid on the funnel. And I like ClickBank offers for certain different um, areas, you know, like, like health and fitness, I like those. But there's but ClickBank only gives you like 80% of the sales. So if, if the affiliate is if you get paid like Let's say somebody buys the ClickBank product and it's $100, well, you may only get $80 out of that. But that vendor that owns that product, they might make like four or $500 on the back end of that product. So you're not really benefiting from that. That's why I like JVZoo because you get to benefit from those, that funnel that's going through. You get 50% on you know, the products that goes through there. Okay, so if you're gonna get leads for free and you're gonna pay for them with paid ads, always use an affiliate funnel that has a back-end funnel set up and it always has it to where they pay when they pay you it goes right into your PayPal account so you can take that money in PayPal and you can reinvest that back into more ads and as you reinvest that more ads your list starts to grow and grow and grow and then when your list grows and grows and grows then you're able to follow up do great things help up you know help more people and you know inspire more people to to buy your products and buy your service and then you win, they win, life is good. Hey, if you like this video, click on the like button. Also, share it with your friends. Comment below, let me know how I can help your business. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you on the next one.